Have you ever looked up at an airplane, a silver speck soaring across the vast blue canvas and wondered why it flies so high? It seems counterintuitive. Wouldn't getting to the destination be faster if planes just flew lower, closer to the ground? The truth is there are very compelling reasons why airliners cruise at altitudes of 30,000 to 40,000 feet. It's not about speed, at least not directly. Reaching these lofty heights provides a combination of benefits that make flying safer, smoother and more efficient. Understanding these benefits requires us to delve into some basic physics and explore the unique challenges of flight. So buckle up because we're about to take off on a journey to uncover the secrets of why planes fly so high. One of the primary reasons planes climb to high altitudes is to take advantage of thinner air. As we ascend in the atmosphere, the air pressure decreases, meaning fewer air molecules are present per unit volume. This thinner air creates less drag, which is the resistance an object encounters as it moves through a fluid, in this case, air. Think about it like swimming. It's much easier to move through water when there's less of it to push aside. Similarly, with less dense air at higher altitudes, airplanes encounter less resistance, requiring less engine power to maintain the same speed. This reduction in drag translates directly to fuel efficiency. With less power needed to overcome air resistance, planes burn less fuel, saving money and reducing emissions. In the world of aviation, where fuel is a major expense, this efficiency is crucial. Cruising at high altitudes not only makes flight more efficient, but also significantly smoother. We've all experienced turbulence those unexpected bumps and jolts that can make a flight uncomfortable. Much of this turbulence is caused by weather phenomena that occur at lower altitudes, such as thunderstorms, strong winds, and jet streams. By climbing above the clouds, airplanes can often avoid these turbulent zones, providing a more comfortable ride for passengers. Imagine driving on a bumpy road versus a smooth highway. Flying at high altitudes is like cruising on that smooth highway bypassing the potholes and bumps of lower altitude weather systems. The smoother ride is a major factor in passenger comfort and is a key reason why airlines prioritize reaching their cruising altitudes quickly after takeoff. Imagine the chaos if all airplanes flew at random altitudes. To maintain order and safety in the skies, Air Traffic Control, or ATC, has established specific routes and altitudes for aircraft to follow. These designated airways, much like highways in the sky, are separated by altitude to prevent collisions. Higher altitudes typically have less congestion, allowing for more direct routing and fewer delays. Think of it like a multi-lane highway with each lane representing a different altitude. Just as cars move more efficiently when they stay in their lanes, airplanes benefit from this organized system of air traffic management at high altitudes. This structured approach to airspace management is essential for ensuring the safe and efficient flow of air traffic across the globe. Jet engines, the powerful engines that propel most commercial aircraft, are actually more efficient at higher altitudes. This might seem counterintuitive, as thinner air contains less oxygen, which is essential for combustion. However, jet engines are designed to operate optimally in these thinner air conditions. The lower air density reduces drag on the engine itself, and the colder temperatures at high altitudes improve engine efficiency. It's like a runner who performs better in cooler weather. Jet engines thrive in the thin, cold air of the upper atmosphere, delivering optimal performance and fuel efficiency. This improved engine performance is a key factor in allowing airplanes to achieve and maintain the high speeds necessary for long-distance travel. Altitude isn't just about efficiency and comfort, it's also a crucial safety factor in aviation. In the unlikely event of an emergency, such as engine failure, being at a high altitude provides pilots with more time and options to address the situation. The higher an airplane is, the farther it can glide without engine power. This extended gliding distance gives pilots more time to troubleshoot the issue, attempt to restart the engines, or find a suitable landing location. Imagine you're riding a bicycle downhill. If you lose momentum, you'll coast up farther before coming to a stop if you're at the top of the hill compared to being halfway down. Similarly, altitude provides airplanes with a crucial safety buffer in case of emergencies. This extra time and distance can be the difference between a safe landing and a potential disaster. 
In conclusion, airplanes fly so high for a multitude of reasons, all interconnected and contributing to the overall efficiency, comfort and safety of air travel. From reducing drag and improving fuel efficiency, to avoiding turbulence and enhancing engine performance, the benefits of cruising at high altitudes are undeniable. So the next time you see an airplane soaring through the sky, remember that it's not just about getting from point A to point B, it's about navigating a complex set of factors to ensure the smoothest, safest and most efficient journey possible.